Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make the spatula here and I'm using the stir stick for this handle of it. So I'm just going to measure the handle and I'm using my mat here from 0 to 21 centimeters. So that's the length. So I am going to take my 1 to 12 ruler here and cut it into the length that we need. First of all I'm cutting off the end here. Then I am using my 1 to 12 ruler here to measure out 21 centimeters and as you see it's not that much. How much it is in a real life centimeters I'm actually not sure of that. I will figure that out and leave it on the screen right here. I have enough of this stir stick for a lot of these uh, spatulas, but that's fine with me. So I'm just cutting them out for every 1.75 centimeters here. I just uh, figured that one out. <laughs> so I'm cutting them all off here so that they're ready for the next step. Now this handle is too wide, so I am uh, dividing this little piece into three thinner pieces so i'm just measuring here taking my cutout tool here and just uh, dividing on that line that i made this is actually an easy cutter and i'm loving this tool so i'm just dividing it into three pieces so i am taking my time so i'm sure that my cut will be nice and straight and then i will cut and I'm going to do this with all my small pieces, divide them into three pieces each. Then I sand each of these small sticks here so that I round off the end of them and so that every corner and edge is really nice and smooth. Take your time with this. Do all of these if you want more. If you don't want more, then it's all fine. I rolled out some polymer clay in a thin setting. This is not the thinnest that I have. I think this was around a 7. I am making a straight edge and then I measure the top piece here. It's around a centimeter tall. Uh, but measure one you have at home so you get the measurements uh, right for the ones that you are using. So I'm just going to cut out two squares of this um, polymer clay here using some femal liquid, just placing a tiny bit on the side. I'm going to use this to make the stick stay in place. So I dip the little stick here in the um, femal liquid and I am going to place that on the white uh, polymer clay that I ruled out here cut off so I have around the right width of this little spatula and I'm making another square and then I'm going to sandwich the little stick in between the two squares and to get it right I am going to lift it up here it can be a bit tricky and then squeezing it together the clay uh, squeezing the clay together around the stick so you get this little indent thing that you have on the spatula. Now I'm going to cut out the spatula part here. So first I cut out the sides so they are equal. Then I am going to make the top piece here like that. It's actually very easy. Now you can just use your fingers to squeeze it into this uh, the shape and the size you want it to. And that's all there is for the little spatula. So when you are done with all the ones you are going to make, you can bake them. Then I designed and 3D printed this little measuring cup. This is a... Um, that's uh, for around 100 milliliters of fluid 
and um, I printed them on my resin printer. I cleaned them up and uh, sanded the bottom a bit for the support so it doesn't show. And now I'm just using some of my silver ink here to paint them all silver. When the paint is dry, I am going to take them off this double-sided tape that I put on a uh, icicle stick and I'm just painting the bottom of all of these small measuring cups. So that is all there is for this little one. I am going to leave the link for the 3D print of this one in the info box below. That is all for today. You've got this little measuring cup and the small spatulas. So now you can go and bake a little. Anyway, that's all for today. I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.